Hello everybody, my name is Jorge, I'm a home equity coach. I'm here today with Mr. Andrew Yanni, broker owner of Fast Action Mortgage, and we have some great stuff to talk about. Uh, Andrew, today I wanted to talk a little bit about the current state of the market. Uh, as you know, the industry has changed, right? Interest rates have gone up, which has caused uh, lenders to pump the brakes and pretty much dissolve relationships with a lot of their partners. So I don't know if you wanted to talk a little bit about the big companies out there that have actually made some serious changes. I don't know if you guys have heard out there, um, three major wholesalers have shut down. Um, the main one that everybody knows out there, um, you might be familiar, the, the name is Loan Depot. Loan Depot shut down their wholesale channel. It does not mean that Loan Depot, Loan, Loan Depot is, you know, they're thriving, their retail channel is thriving. They just obviously had some margin issues on the wholesale side. Um, you know, it's being reported by Forbes and some other websites. Loan Depot is down about, they lost $91 million. So that was their quarterly earnings for Q2 uh, 2022. United Wholesale Mortgage, they're also a publicly traded company. Uh, they reported about $215 million in um, revenue or in, in net income, I should say. Uh, in profits, in profits for the Q2, which is the same Q a quarter that Loan Depot lost 90 million, they're up 215. So um, again, you know, they're a great partner of ours. We're closing deals extremely quickly using their services. As mortgage brokers, we work with multiple lenders who have a wholesale channel. Uh, and in this example, uh, Loan Depot has dissolved that. Uh, they still have the retail side, so they're still offering their services. Uh, but a lot of times what these lenders do is they find ways to cut costs, right? And to stay competitive because mortgage brokers are very competitive. They have lower fees, lower rates because they have lower, lower overhead, uh, which they're able to pass on to the customer. Uh, but it's not just Loan Depot. Across the board, there are a lot of lenders who are and investors that are actually tightening their guidelines and dissolving some of their services exactly yeah um you didn't mention the other two there's two other guys who have shut down their 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 operations um the two main people that you guys are going to see in the news that other maybe some youtubers are talking about or some things that you're seeing online a company called sprout mortgage they have completely shut down um, they were a wholesale lender and they did something else they did correspondent lending um, for those of you guys who are not familiar with the business, um, a correspondent lender is a lender who does a loan and then they sell it to Sprout Mortgage. Once the loan is completed, Sprout buys the loan off of a particular lender. They, Sprout has completely shut down. Unlike Loan Depot, um, Sprout was involved in what's called non-QM business. And the market in, those, in that genre is just, it's very volatile. So they didn't actually, again, just like Loan Depot, they didn't manage their margins properly. Um, they weren't hedging their loans properly. Um, and they, you know, they basically had to shut down business. Going back really quick, I wanted to talk about the whole QM, non-QM topic that you brought up. Uh, basically it's traditional financing, non-traditional financing. I like to keep it simple. These non-QM loans are designed for non-traditional buyers, people who don't have to provide W-2s, tax returns, or pay stubs, the self-employed people, investors. Uh, this is, works really well. There's bank statement loan programs, there's VOE, P profit and loss, um, and also investor loan programs where they look at just the rental income of the property. Um, you don't even have to have a job really because we don't, we don't share that information. Um, so that's something, that's an exotic product that is very popular. Uh, some lenders, uh, for example, Sprout, we mentioned, they, they shut down. Uh, they're no longer offering it. Uh, not because it's not a viable product, but because um, lenders It's a great product. Very low foreclosure rates on the non-QM product. They just didn't manage their margins correctly. Anyway. Yeah, yeah. And something about the traditional side of loans, right? Um, 
Fannie and Freddie, they're two government sponsored agencies that buy these loans, secondary market, and they're heavily involved in the traditional side, which is the um, QM market. But in a non-QM market, they're, they're not players. So that's why the guidelines are more flexible. And that's why a lot of people are able to qualify for these types of loans. So there's a lot of loans out there. I know we're throwing a lot of information out to you, but our job is to know these things and to match you up with the right product, the right solution to help you. Um, and all these moving parts affect the market, right? Interest rates went up. So that unfortunately lenders, a lot of these lenders aren't as profitable. Uh, and unless they're publicly traded, you know that the shareholders aren't gonna be happy, therefore they have to cut costs. Uh, and they're cutting costs and that's fine. Don't panic, we're not panicking. There's still money available. If you wanna buy, talk to April. Right, right, and I, I just wanted to touch really, really quickly on the whole market in general. Um, I know people are thinking, you guys are thinking, you know, I hear a lot of market crash, the market's going down and all this, you know, kind of crazy stuff where people are kind of panicking. I mean, at the end of Q2, um, Realtor.com is reporting that the nationwide average of homes is up 16.9%. So nationwide, we're at 450,000 according to Realtor.com. Um, at the same time last year, um, we were up last year and more than 31% from June 2020. So what that means is that homes are still rising. I know that another concern we can kind of touch on is just affordability in general, because homes, unfortunately or fortunately, however you want to look at it, they're going up. Um, we don't see a so-called, I don't see a crash in sight because financing is still really tight. Like these are the loans that we're doing, they're all very good loans. These are all qualified people. Um, they may be using non-traditional financing, but they are qualified. Um, even if you're using a bank statement loan, these people are depositing a lot of money in their bank account. And what I was talking to, is talking to some of my real estate agents um, over the weekend, I mean, what people report to the IRS like a business owner and what they really make are usually two different things. You might have another business taking a loss, but your main business is making money. Your rental properties are losing, but I don't know, you have maybe had a lot of depreciation. Um, and then, you know, and then a lot of people, they, you know, they operate cash businesses. So, you know, we all know what people do with cash businesses. So, um, and the IRS is aware of all this, guys. So, you know, if you don't think that they know, they know. So, but there are programs for you. Uh, was, I, I think that was kind of your whole point, letting yeah. people know that um, there are programs for you guys who are kind of, you know, the IRS information doesn't match what your real income is. So, yeah, yeah. To Andrew's point, there's a product, there's a solution for every type of borrower, but you are not going to know unless you talk to a professional such as Andrew. It's simple, it's easy, it's free. And all it takes is a phone call um, or a message or an email to get informed, educated, and for us to provide guidance to help you achieve your goal of home ownership if that's what it is that you'd like to do. And it doesn't have to be today, it takes time. Prepare yourself mentally, prepare yourself financially, and it'll get done, so yeah. So yeah, if you're ready to take that journey, you know, give, give Jorge a call. Um, give Fast Action Mortgage a call. Give us a call. Let us know uh, what your situation is, and we can definitely guide you down the right path. It, again, it doesn't have to be today, but the path can sometimes take a year. You're going to need at least six to 12 months to, you know, to, to kind of get your credit back in check. You pay off your collections, get your collections deleted. You pay down credit cards, etc., etc. You budget yourself properly to be able a year from now to be able to make a serious offer on a home and live where you want to live and where your family wants to live uh, in a school district you want to live in uh, and so on and so forth. The market has changed guys. Last year it was a seller's market. You had no, no leverage. If you wanted to negotiate, good luck. You had 20 other offers on top of your offer. You had individuals offering 20, 30, 50, $100,000 more on that property you wanted to buy. No, con You had to remove your contingencies. You had to basically beg and hope that they would accept your offer. Uh, that That's changed, completely changed. Rates have gone up. Sellers are now 
you know, they're, they're, they're willing, willing to, to work with yeah, you. Yeah, willing to negotiate a little bit. Um, negotiate, give credit. Um, it's not as competitive. It is competitive, but not as competitive. Right. So if you want to buy, this is a great time for you at least to see what you qualify for, right? Can you afford the payment, right? Regardless of the interest rate, because remember, you can always refinance later, right? Of course. If you rate, course. if you get a 5%, 4 or 5, 6% today, uh, five years from now, maybe even sooner, it can drop again, right? So Yeah, of course. And we set people up, by the way. We set, uh, when you're doing a non-QM loan or a non-traditional, if you do a non-traditional program, I'm always setting up clients to refine. Look, in the future, you only have to make this payment, let's say, for a year. After a year, me and your CPA will sit down, we'll review your taxes to make sure that you qualify for a more traditional product to bring your payment down um, and get you a fixed rate um, at where you want to be and where the market is at the time, of course. But it's going to be lower than what we're getting you on a non-traditional product. So you might be paying a couple hundred bucks to your mortgage company instead of paying a couple thousand dollars to the IRS. I know that's what you're doing now, but we're going to get you set up and we'll make sure that, you know, your taxes even out and you get a savings on your mortgage. So we'll discuss that with you upon a consultation. Absolutely. Absolutely. Andrew, another thing I wanted to talk about today was the VOE program. FHA, FHA VOE program, mm -hmm. which is a product that's very popular that you, a lot of you probably are not aware of. And there's so many benefits. And I kind of want to bring it to the forefront, bring it to light so uh, you can inform potential buyers out there right. what's so great about this product. So what we're doing today, uh, we do have a, um, it's an FHA loan. You guys might have heard of it if you guys are searching on YouTube, on Google, wherever you guys are searching for a mortgage from your real estate agent or from other lenders, they might have qualified you for something called an FHA loan. Um, it's the Federal Housing Administration. It's a wonderful loan. It was originally designed for uh, people with a minimum down payment, 3.5%. Um, and usually designed for first time home buyers. It does need to be your primary home. But the main caveat to this program is the fact that we work with a certain investor or investors. So no pay stubs, no W-2s, no, no tax return verification, none of that. So what you're providing is your employer's contact information and we will be reaching out to your employer to verify your employment. This has nothing to do with the IRS. This has nothing to do with taxes and all that stuff. So your income is going to be verified with your employers. So again, we deal with a lot of people who get paid um, non-traditionally. So this is more of a non-traditional FHA loan where you don't have to show any of your pay stubs. If you don't want to show your pay stubs, you don't have to. Um, we're still going to get you in with a 3.5% down payment on an FHA mortgage. Um, just be careful because there are FHA limits and each each county has an FHA limits here in our area. We're in Southern California. Um, the FHA limit in Orange County and Los Angeles County, um, it's roughly 970,000 and Riverside San Bernardino, roughly 562,000. Um, so so you're talking about a purchase price in the IE um, Riverside San Bernardino, you're talking roughly about a 580,000 with a with a 3.5 percent down payment um so yeah that's basically the program that's kind of the general uh you know synopsis of it yeah this program is great for first for not necessarily just first time home buyers but it's a great option where there's a lot of flexibility right because traditionally fha loans they're gonna ask for income documents they're gonna ask for w-2s pay stubs etc but this makes it a lot easier for borrowers 100%, 100%. who want to buy a property and get in a property today with limited to no income documentation. It's just a verification of employment. They verify where you work. They verify your income. They use that information and they're, they use that to, to help you qualify to purchase that home. So very flexible, great, great, great program. Uh, speak to an expert like Andrew, so he can provide guidance and break it down and give you the nitty gritty details on, on how to qualify for this type right. of loan. Yeah, and Jorge, you're right. It does not, you don't have to be a first time home buyer. You could have owned a home before, but 
FHA loans, uh, the only real caveat is you do have, has to be what's called a primary home. In other words, you're buying this home to live in it. You're not buying, you cannot buy investment properties with an FHA loan. So that's the only real major thing, which most people buying homes, you know, you're, you're buying the home to live in it. Well, so. let me ask you a question, Andrew. What about if someone wants to use the FHA VOE program, they want to buy a property, they want to live in it, but they also want to rent out other units. Yeah. Would they qualify for a multi-unit property? Yes. So with this program, you guys can go all the way up to four units and the loan limits go up based on how many units you're purchasing. Um, in LA County, it's well over a million dollars, which you can purchase on a four unit property. I'm help, actually helping an individual right now in Los Angeles. He's looking for a four unit. He's roughly in the $1.3 million range. He's buying four units with only 3.5% down. The lender will use potential rent of the other units in order to qualify you or help you qualify for a, uh, a home that's that expensive. So, so that's another thing. If you're looking for a, units and you want to live in a unit, they call it house hacking. A lot of people call it house hacking where you live in a unit and you are renting out the other ones. We can use this program to do that. So if, if you want to talk about that, call us today, schedule a, an appointment. So many benefits to this FHA program. Uh, sometimes FHA programs get frowned upon. Um, honestly, I think it's great. Um, and the, the other benefits that we don't talk about is low FICO score, right? You don't have to have 580. Five, five, as low as 580, you don't need an 800, right? Like you would on a conventional loan. And that's 580 it. for this particular program. Yeah, yeah, 580. Yeah, so super low. And a lot of what I tell a lot of people, I call it a uh, two step two-step loan, right? You get the pro property, you buy the property using this FHA loan, and then down the road, once your credit score improves, once your financial profile, your financial situation improves, then you get into conventional loan where you save even more money mm -hmm. on the monthly payments. Uh, so- you remove mortgage insurance with a conventional loan. So yeah, Jorge could talk to you guys about that when you're ready to refinance eventually. Again, he'll set you up. Our whole goal is to set you up, not only for home ownership, but future home ownership and future savings down the line as well. So it's not just about today. Uh, we want clients for life. You know, we want people to work with us for life. We want you to think about us when you're trying to buy a house or refinance a house. So it's not just about today. Well, that's it for us today. Those are the nuggets of information. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I'm Jorge, Home Equity Coach. Andrew with Fast Action Mortgage. Uh, thank you for having me today. Yeah, likewise, and we'll see you guys soon. Don't forget right, to subscribe to both our channels. Thank you. All right, have a good one. Bye.